All right, you two, time for Royal Raceway. And today, handsome Donnie is Bowser. Wait, what? Yes, because Donnie insists that I'm only winning because I've been using Bowser. Bowser hits boosts with 20% more Bowser power. Really? God damn it, there is no such thing as Bowser power. Well, Obama, how do you explain this? Explain what? Bowser power! Holy crap, what incredible Bowser power. Would you two stop saying Bowser this power? power is almost too much for me to control. Can I have a donation, Donnie? Oh my god. Hmm. I can probably donate around 10% to you, old buddy. What are these giant red flower things? Oh god. Those are piranha plants, Joe. Well, they look very hungry. Piranha plants were originally called tuna plants. No, they weren't. Oh my god, the Bowser power was too much. And a big tuna fish head would pop out of the ground and give you a fishy nibble. Oh, I hate a fishy nibble. Goddamn God damn it, what the hell is a fishy nibble? Hey look, there are signs for Luigi again. Doesn't that say Luigi's? Yeah, it does. So does Luigi, like, own something? Ooh, maybe he owns a spaghetti factory. Ooh, and with a garlic bread subsidiary. And don't forget his offshore Parmesan cheese holdings. No, of course, how could we forget that? Get ready, Obama. For what? For the Bowser boom. That was very impressive. Thank you, Joseph. Can I do a Bowser boom as well? I hereby grant you Bowser boom privileges. There is no such thing as a Bowser That's boom. That's a nice lightning you have there, Obama. Why, thank you. It'd be a shame if someone borrowed it. God damn it, Donnie. Give that back. Lightnings are very dangerous. I better hold on to it so no one gets hurt. Our pet muffin cost was hit by lightning one time. Wait, what's a muffin cost? It depends on the bakery, I guess. Oh, my God. Bowser boom. Good one, Joe. Hang on. You never explained what a fishy nibble was. Oh, that's right. Or why the Mario Kart designers wanted a goddamn tuna head to pop out of the ground in order to bite someone. Well, you see. Oh, God damn it. At the time of Mario Kart's development, Miyamoto had a pet tuna fish that he kept in the office. Oh, really? That is almost certainly not true. In fact, this tuna fish developed the idea for what would later become Super Smash Brothers. Okay, now that is definitely not true. Anyway. Miyamoto's pet tuna fish was notoriously bad-tempered. Oh, no, Princess Peach. And would bite the game developers if they got too close. Oh, that's fair enough. God damn it. No, that is not fair enough. But you see, this tuna fish had lost his teeth because he was quite an old tuna fish. Was he? Bowser, boom. Anyway, Miyamoto had fashioned the tuna some false teeth out of recycled sea buttons. But the resultant bite was really more of a nibble. Wait, what the hell are you talking about? And to make it up to the tuna fish, Miyamoto designed the tuna plant. I think I remember hearing about this. But then one day the tuna fish bit the Nintendo president on the bottom. And ever since, tuna plants have been banned from all Nintendo games. God damn it, there was no such thing as a ban on tuna plants in Nintendo games. Then where are the tuna plants, Obama? That's a good question. And why would Miyamoto use old C buttons for teeth? Well, I suppose A and B buttons are a bit round, you know. If I was going to have false teeth made of controller parts, I think I would use L and R buttons. Well, Joe, if you use L and R buttons, they will be too long and flat. Wait. You think Miyamoto gave his senile tuna fish false teeth made out of C buttons because they have better biting qualities? Well, he definitely thought so. Of course, it actually had nibble qualities in the end, but his heart was in the right place. Oh my god. Do you think the nibbly tuna fish still works at Nintendo? I'm sure the nibbly tuna fish is probably retired, Joseph. Oh, that's nice. Oh, double boo. Wait, are you about to lap me, Donnie? Yeah, but don't feel bad, buddy. I've discovered Obama's Bowser actually has 40% extra Bowser power. God damn it, where do you think this mythical Bowser power comes from? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Well, probably next to the Boeing compartment. Oh, that makes sense. And he crosses the royally magnetic finish line. Wait, we never found out the name of Miyamoto's tuna fish. Yes, Donnie. What was the name of this fish who totally existed, by the way, and had false teeth made out of controller buttons? Well, most people referred to it as the goddamn fish in the office that keeps nibbling people. Oh no, not fishy nibbles. But Miyamoto called him T4. Wait, why T4? T for tuna, of course. God damn it.